Now, your news on the go. It's 7.53 and 28 degrees on the local station. Here's your news on the go this morning. Street fighting has now broken out in Ukraine's second largest city, and Russian troops are increasing pressure on strategic ports in the country's south. This following a wave of attacks on airfields and fuel facilities. Russia has sent a delegation to Belarus for peace talks with Ukraine. However, the Ukrainian president suggested other locations for peace talks, claiming Belarus would not be a neutral territory. And new this morning, a 17-year-old man is on, on Mary, was shot on Mary Street near Park Street in Syracuse. The victim was transported to the hospital where he is in serious condition. The investigation is ongoing. Syracuse police ask anyone with information to give them a call at 315-442-5222. And today was supposed to be Coleman's annual Green Beer Sunday, but it's been postponed until next Sunday, March 6th. This is the first time in 59 years that the parade has been postponed. This year will also be the first celebration without Peter Coleman. And Duke's Coach K was presented with a couple of nice gifts prior to his final game inside the Dome last night. A photo of him with Jim Beheim, plus a scholarship in his name that will be given out at SU. As for the game, it was all Duke from start to finish. The Blue Devils scored the first 14 points before the Orange even got on the board. Duke led by as many as 30 points in the first half. Syracuse would get back to within 16 thanks to 23 points from Buddy Beheim. But it wasn't early enough as the Blue Devils blew out the Orange 97-7. At 7.55, Lindsay's back with one final check of Central New York's most accurate forecast. Well, we're starting off the day with some snow across Oswego, Jefferson, Lewis, and northern Oneida counties. This is where we could expect one to three, but as much as three to six inches of snow accumulation before this drops to the south. Everyone will be seeing some snow at some point this morning. We have a cold front that's dropping south through central New York, bringing bursts of snow with reduced visibility, quick changing road conditions around noon for southern Oswego County stretching over towards Sodus and Rome, and then around the Syracuse area by about 1, 2 o'clock. This will continue to push to the south through 3 and 4 o'clock into the southern Finger Lakes, and then tonight a few lake effect snow showers. Tomorrow is going to be the wind chill in the morning. It's going to be below zero. It's a cold start for everyone, and overall tomorrow is just a cold day. We do have some sunshine, but that sun is a bit deceiving. Some temperatures for some will stay in the teens. Here in Syracuse, we have a high close to 20. It gets warmer for two Tuesday, but more widespread snow is coming for our Tuesday. Wednesday is quiet. We're back near 30 on Thursday with the breeze with us again. It does look like next Saturday is going to be warmer uh, to start off with at least, so maybe next Sunday will be a little bit warmer too. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Lindsay, yeah. and thanks for joining us this morning. For news and weather anytime, download the News Channel 9 app. Our next update is at 827. Good Morning America is next. Thanks for watching and have a great day.